Hi, I'm Brian Huss with Ag Valley. Hey, I'm the agronomy sales manager out of the Edison location. And today, we're gonna walk you through why a soil sample is very important in your farming operation. I've already taken about eight cores. What we do is take the probe, push it in about eight inches to take a soil sample. And then I'm gonna explain where we take those cores from in the different modes. Now we have a bag. What we're doing here is we have a pound of well-represented soil taken from that given area, either grid, management zone, or a composite. Make sure to try to get it all in the bag so the lab gets a good test out of it. Hold it because it's very important how you take this. Because the soil sample starts with the acquisition of the soil and the probe. If you have a soil sample bag, approximately a pound, we have that done. So there's many different ways why we take a soil sample out here. The reason is to manage our fertility programs. And there's different ways to do it, all the way from a composite, 40 to 60 acres done, going throughout it, taking several cores through there. Another way to take a soil sample is we do grids. You can do a grid, by poking a uh, point right in the middle. This is all GPS reference then. And grids are usually taken anywhere from a 2.5 acre to a five in that area or anything in between. Another way we do it is management zone. The management zone puts a lot of agronomy into it. We do it by yield results. We can use satellite imagery. Also, we can use an EC Varus where we pull a machine across and find the differences in the field. And in turn, we'll make a zone of anywhere 10 to 25 acres if you want to have more questions about soil sampling and the different ways we can do it for you on your operation, contact your Ag Valley agronomist and thank you for joining us in the field with Ag Valley.